Hey YouTube, what's up? Welcome to another Endgame study. I took this one from Jacob Agard's book, Excelling at Chess Calculation. And the puzzle is white to move and win. So as always, pause your video, try to solve it along with me, and then we will work on it together. All right, so I'm going to try now. First thing I see is that we are, you know, if we can queen this F pawn, we just win pretty prosaically. So bishop g5 looks like the, the obvious looking first move. Then black would play b3, it looks like. And <clears throat> I'm going to make the moves on the board. But I, I, this looks like a pretty standard looking first move. Stopping rook g1 check as well. The thing is b3 now. And then if, if f7, he can just push the pawn. So you, you'd think about this move. And like, if king a1, now f7. Uh, the problem here is probably some kind of move like this. And if we make a queen, something like check. And, you know, like this move. Oh, no, this wins, actually. Queen a3. If king a2, we should be winning. But maybe in this position he can just take and go b2? I don't know. No, queen a3 should win. Or it does win. Uh, I'm a little confused here. Well, okay, bishop g5 looks like the right first move. Rook... Does he have anything other than b3? I mean, I suppose rook g8 is playable, but it looks pretty ugly. Let's say b3 again. Rook to d2. If king a3, I don't even see the point. Just just f7. It doesn't seem very logical to me. So probably king a1. And then, I mean, let's look at f7. I mean, maybe it's not the right move, but it looks pretty normal. Rook takes, pawn takes, rook g1, rook d1. I mean, honestly, maybe even even this move is interesting. Threatening b2. It's not super easy to get out of that. Uh, we're up a queen, but b2 check is coming. Uh, and if queen a3, rook a2, although I have a feeling we're going to win here. Somehow. The question is how. If queen takes rook, I'm pretty sure to draw. Oh, I found it. Rook d2. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the entire solution. And, and the idea is if rook takes queen, rook b2, and black is up two pawns, but unfortunately, this is the only move, and it's checkmate. So I'm pretty sure that is the complete answer. Bishop g5, b3, rook d2, king a1, f7, rook check, f8, and then this is the only defense. And it looks very hard to stop b2, and then we have this very cute sequence. Rook to b2 and we win. So I'm going to look up the answer in the book. Let us see if that is correct. Yep, I saw everything. I'm smart. <laughs> uh, there's one thing I didn't think about, uh, uh, supposedly. It says if... It says if a3... Yeah, then it says rook to d1 wins. But that's not surprising to me. It's kind of... Not super hard move to find because uh, we're threatening to just we stop all the pawns basically. If we queen, then I guess b2 uh, and black is fine. So that's the only other key thing that needs to be pointed out. Um, yep. All right, I got it right. Whoopee for me. Um, thanks guys for watching. I will see you tomorrow with another endgame study. Peace out.